chose Harrisburg University of Science and Technology because they have a forensics program and ever since I was a little girl I've always been interested in forensics. I feel they have a lot of opportunities. I had the best financial aid and because I had the interactive media major. I heard about the forensic science program and I've been obsessed with the major forensic science since the ninth grade. It's a science school and I want to be a doctor. So the first thing you have to do is study biology. I've been around technology since I was like five years old. So I've always been very, a type of guy to go after it. And Harrisburg has the tools I need to be further in it. So it was a no brainer for me. Two of my favorite classes were speech and creative mind. Um, speech was fun. I, I got to step out of my comfort zone a little bit, you know, and share my ideas and opinions on stuff. For Creative Mind, I learned a lot of different aspects of social media that I didn't know. Because at first, I just thought about the two sides, didn't go any farther than that. But as my time went on, I wanted to know more about the, the things that I was involved in. So I saw all the different perspectives. My favorite college subject was Creative Mind because the professor would have you do very deep critical thinking instead of just thinking off the top of your head. He would want to get in the depths of your mind and understand what you would think about a certain subject. So being in a lab, I know that things are important and things have to be detailed and things have to be taken a little bit slower than other things. So I put like my full support in biology lab because it was important to me. I changed personally after my first year of college, I would say in many ways, because now I see what's real life. Like I know why many people don't keep forward with their education because it's hard. As a person, I'm starting to understand how serious college is and how much responsibility is on me. I came into college with a mindset of saying I'm going to do everything that's possible to, to um, pass my classes and just help out in general. And as time went on, I learned that it's more difficult to do the certain things I want to do because it requires me to pull in a lot more effort than I usually do. It's all on you, so if you have a 10-page assignment do you better do it because if you don't, it falls back on you. You have to set your goal and know that you, what you want to keep forward because it's not easy. I really matured in the second semester because I've seen like sometimes you gotta be serious, but sometimes you gotta laugh. So that's what I do. I make people laugh a lot, but also I can be serious when I want to. My learning goals since I'm um next year I'll be taking my major classes is I just want to learn more about the different aspects of um, te technology most preferably on the designer side of video games. My learning goals are to gain more knowledge on science and math subjects because those are the big parts in my major. My plan is uh, to just focus on the education. I just want to like learn things that I love to just maintain with my goal. My learning goals for this coming semester is just to learn any and everything about forensics and I just want to meet more people who know a lot of things about forensics so I can just know, just gain more knowledge on my career field. Over there you just keep with your regular life and then you just meet new people. It was just like a whole family that we created. Like we are professors and the classmates. And Philadelphia was such a small class so I felt as though that I bonded with my professors and classmates. That small class helps you like be able to learn at a better rate. You get to know your friends on a deeper level. Now we come here and like we know a few people. Now you already know what college is like. Yeah.